Welcome back to the Alpha Capital Channel. It's me, Planty, again, and we're starting a new series here, Planty's Corner, where we've had a number of uh, questions, inquiries from the trading community with some real life examples, and I'm going to give my advice to how I think you should play it out. And the first question is just received my first payout from Alpha, thinking of using it to buy a car. I haven't got any other income, but I know I can make good money using this account. My dad said I'm being stupid, but I feel like the pressure will help me perform. What is your advice? Listen to your dad, for one. Um, well, it depends how long have you been going. It says it's your first payout, so are you sure you're doing, you can do this consistently? Um, buying a car, that's expensive. I, if, if you're a young person, I take advantage of the finance options that are out there. The key piece of advice I had was always try and keep as much capital as you can. And that keeps you in the game. Obviously, if you're doing the prop trading, you need to make sure you've got plenty of money in case things go wrong and you can buy another challenge. If it's your only income, as you're saying here, that's difficult to actually consistently win as a trader. Even the best ones have bad runs. You need some money. So I'm not going to put you off the car because cars for young people are liberating. But, you know, you need to make sure that you've got enough money to live on. If not, it's going to be a tough chat with dad, isn't it, to see if he'll lend you any. Number two, my brother got me into trading two years ago. He's still struggling, but I'm making loads of money. But I feel bad because I haven't told him yet. What should I do? Well, he's your brother, so he's going to have to take the ribbon, isn't he? Give it to him. Suggest maybe that he, you start doing it together a little bit. Often, if in the real world, people trade together as pairs. That helps bouncing ideas off each other. Maybe maybe suggest that he works a little bit for you if, if he's not making any money. Um, so remember, at the end of the day, you're brothers. You should be able to talk to each other. You should want each of you to do well. You know, grow a pair, speak to each other, you know, get on with it. You probably work better as a team. Uh, question three. My best friend is asking me to teach him how to trade. When I started the learning journey, I asked him, but he wasn't interested. Now that I'm profitable, he wants me to teach him, but I don't have time. What should I do? Uh, my first instinct is tell him to poke it, but um, you know, have, have a bit of your own medicine. But at the end of the day, if you are really friends, then you want to get on, don't you? And you both should want to drag yourselves along. Um, don't give all your alpha away. If you haven't got the time, you haven't got the time, but maybe suggest to him the things that worked for you to give him a starter. Um, I just made a huge profit on GameStop stocks. I got in early way before the social media hype. I'm thinking of investing all my payout money into similar stocks. Am I a genius or just playing with fire? Uh, um, you're certainly playing with fire. If it's social media hype, then what is going to, what sort of strategy is that? Get yourself your own strategy that you can believe in and back test and trust, and you might get away with it again. If that, you know, sometimes even in Hype situations, you can keep making money, but it's not long term, is it? Find your own edge. My wife is interested in trading, but I think this could cause some arguments in the household. What is your advice? Um, you've married her, they don't accept it, you're going to argue. At the end of the day, it's healthy chatting and talking to each other. A lot of people really struggle, though, to work as partners in life and partners in business. Really, really think it through. That is a tricky one to do. It's lovely and ideal if you could spend the day doing all the same things with each other. But often to be successful, you need your own time and, and your own breaks. So unless it makes sense and it's the only financial way out of a hole, if you're in one, then go for it. But think very carefully about working together. It really does need you really do need to think it through. I passed my first challenge and made over 10,000 in my first month, then went on to blow the account. Hopefully you kept the money. Since then, I've never been able to pass a challenge, but everyone thinks I'm still funded. Now I'm doubting myself and feel like it might have been luck. What shall I do? Well, you're creating, an, there's enough stress in trading and you're creating more for yourself by creating a false narrative, aren't you? So bring it out into the open. Even the most successful traders, the biggest influencers, they've all gone through long periods of losing to find their edge in the first instance. Watch loads of videos that I've done. You'll see that common thread coming through. They're all having to, you know, really fight hard mental psychology they had to go through of losing runs so you're not alone and nobody comes into this and wins all the time but keep plugging away strategy strategy and it's a long-term game uh, question seven i succeeded without trading courses if you need them you're too dumb to succeed on your own and deserve to fail is this true <laughs> well i don't sell courses but i could and I can certainly give you lots of advice. And I think that's ridiculous. You never stop learning in trading. And the more you learn, the better you'll get. Don't, and there's a key word here, hubris. Once you start believing your own, believing your own hype, then you're heading for a fall. Anyone that tells you different, then they need to be in the game a little bit longer because I can show you a whole list of people, including myself, that just as you think that you're on top of the world, you're going to have the rug pulled from under you. So shut up, learn, and be a little bit uh, kinder with your words. So that's the end of episode one of Planty's Corner. I hope you enjoyed that and hopefully it's inspired you to bring up your own questions. We'd love to hear from you, either uh, reply to the, the video or get onto the Discord and find the appropriate channel. 
list us some questions and we'll try and include you in a future episode.